Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Tops Tier 1 Baseball uh, 2024 edition. 12 box, pick your team number 7. Chasing the mantle and big hits in this break as well. Thanks everybody for getting in. Appreciate it. Let's pick your team 7 right there. Mr. Shorty wants more Tier 1 on, on YouTube. Unfortunately... We don't have any more to post on YouTube. Just keep in mind, folks, every time, like a good example is that Topps Chrome that's on the website right now. Like get into all of those breaks, uh, you know, as early and as often as possible because after our initial run of a certain product, subsequently we don't, we can't get as much. It's, you know, we don't know when we can, we can get more. So it all becomes a little trickier. And a lot of times the price will go up too. So I wouldn't be surprised. I haven't really been keeping track of the prices on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if like team prices went up on this since new release day. You know what I mean? So that's why I just best to get in early and often. And then, or if you see, see a product on the website for the first time in a while, then obviously jump in on it because we normally don't get as much as we we would like to at that point. All right, so this year they added a, uh, a base card in here, which is that thin little card down there. It's Chris Bryant, 23 out of 75. Oh no, wait, Jordan Addison got a DUI? <laughs> yeah, Pizzle's like DUIs are not. Yeah, I mean, unless he, you know, unless he kills someone, I think your run-of-the-mill DUI, I think the NFL is just a slap on the wrist, I guess, which it shouldn't be, but. All right, uh, Red Ink Autograph, Tim Hudson, 17 out of 25. That's for I, Coppola, and the Braves. Should, then we got a dual relic and autograph. Thirty-seven nine ninety-nine. Joe Musgrove. That's for Jesse and the Padres. There's Ichiro. One twenty-three out of one ninety-nine. Uh, that is Mariners edition of Ichiro. That goes to Kenneth and the Mariners. And got another autograph that is McCormick. That's Chaz McCormick, right? 82 out of 99. Chaz McCormick, Astros, Benjamin, BT, with that one. Next box. Here's Corbin Carroll for the Snakes. It's gonna be for Tara and the Diamondbacks. Let's try to do the relics first, Joe. Here's Michael Harris, piece of the lumber, 107 out of 199. That's Coppola with the Bravos. What are the are these are the rest of these autos? Is there a relic in the middle? No, they're all three are autos. All right, nice. Here is la 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 Brady Singer. One seventeen out of one ninety nine. Going to a seventy five. We don't have seventy fives out here. Royals, that's going to be for Evan with the Royals. Uh, 
We got Adley Rushman, 73 out of 99. It's going to go to Ryan Heinz in the O's. And then there's another Oriole, Grayson Rodriguez, 2 out of 49. Another one for the O's. That's for Ryan Heinz. <laughs> yes, right. Are you, are you proud of that one, Rex? Rex is like, not long ago, remember I said he might have picked a wrong career because he should have been a singer because of his last name. And then I think I came back with... Then I came back with, then Rex, you would be a king. That doesn't work out. Doesn't work out like that. How much longer is that going to take? Uh, about six minutes. Wait, so what, wait, what about Bartolo Colon? Here's Everson Pereira, rookie card for the Yankees. And we have Andrew Abbott, 24 out of 199. Uh, Cologne should have been a doctor. I just could have just been a body part. Hey, how about a one of one? CC Sabathia for the Yankees. That's going to be TJ Poyer who picked up the Yankees straight up. Nice patch, nice auto. Nice one of one. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And back's here, back, back's here? Max here. Back here is Max Freed, 30, 40 out of 49. I try to put Max and back together, that's what happens. Yeah, great color on that too, Duncan, I, I agree. Are there Guardians CC on the checklist? Sixty nine out of one twenty five, Christian Yelich. And here's Craig Biggio, 21 out of 75. His son, Kevin, on the Dodgers. This one will go to the Strohs, BT. There's Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Jersey and autograph going to Coppola and the Braves. The final auto here is Rafael Palmero. 72 out of 99. Great mustache for Rafa here. It's uh, going to Texas, Kenneth with the Rangers. You know, Rex, speaking of last names, last names really came about uh, at least for for England anyway, and or parts of Europe, last a lot of last names came from uh, as a result of the plague. Many cities, villages were decimated by the plague. So in search of new life and work, oftentimes there'd be someone who would come from a different village to another village. Back then, 
maybe this village only had one Jonathan in town, right? But then you go to the next town and there's another Jonathan. So how do you differentiate the other Jonathan? So it's like, oh, that's Jonathan Leather. Something like that. That's not an exact example. And then there go your last names because he's like the leather maker or something like that. And there's Jonathan Woodland. He, he's from the Woodlands, Jonathan, and as opposed to Jonathan River. Here's Yandi Diaz, 17 out of 99. There you go. There's your last name lesson of the day. As a result of the, uh, the plague in the 1300s. 17 out of 99, Yandi Diaz, Kevin with the Rays. And then three color triple relic, six out of 49, Masataka Yoshida. Bob, Boston. Pretty sure I learned that on the podcast, the last podcast on the left, on the right, something like that, or at the end of the drive, or whatever. They, had, they did a mini series about the plague, which was quite fascinating. There's David Bednar, 146 out of 249. They did one on the uh, on the Donner Party as well, which was also interesting. And that's for the Pirates, Coppola. And there's Emerson Hancock, 33 out of 49. Hancock will go to Kenneth and the Mariners. saw the Cubs have expressed interest in Blue Jays catcher Danny Jansen, so I wonder if they will end up going after Vlad Jr. Wait, what? Why would they be going after Vlad Jr. if they say they're going after Danny Jansen? And why in the, in the world would they go after Danny Jansen? The Cubs' biggest problem is their bullpen. My gosh, we need to improve our bullpen. Let's get a catcher. Here's Paul Goldschmidt, 57 out of 99. Also, Bob, Bob Nightingale, not the, not the uh, breaking news journalist that he once was in like the 90s. It's Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals, Evan with the Cardinals. 149 out of 199, Sonny Gray. Piece of the jersey, Josiah Gray. Not Sonny Gray, they look completely different. Nick Stanley in the Nationals. I just saw Gray and I went with it. I saw Gray, I just saw a red jersey and I was like, yeah, Sonny Gray on the Cardinals. Uh, that goes to Nick Stanley in the Nationals, Josiah Gray, former Dodgers prospect. 209 out of 199. That's uh, Everson Pereira. TJ Poyer in the Yankees. Fourteen out of ninety-nine, Tom Glavin. It goes to I Capola and the Braves. Oh, so you're saying uh, some, I get, I see, I see what you're getting at. I don't know why they would get Vlad Jr.
But that seems like a Cubsy thing to do, right? Let's not address our, our main need. Let's go after something we don't need. Uh, let's try to get a bunch of big flashy names so people will come here only for Vlad Jr. leaving free agency in two or three years. There's uh, Luis Arias to 125, Marlins edition. Here's David Bednar, 70 out of 149. Though Vlad Jr., yeah, Vlad Jr. in general, yeah, his name has been bandied about as a, as a potential trade target. I think the Mariners should really go after him. That would make sense. Capola with the Pirates. There's Dontrell Willis, the D-Train. Whoop, whoop. 127 out of 149. Does some TV work for the Dodgers. And for Fox, I think. Also, it's pretty rich for the Cubs to think that they're buyers. <laughs> with the way that team's constructed. Marlins, Patrick Evans, last spot mojo. There's Logan O'Hoppy, 167 out of 249. I feel like if you're going to go after a catcher, I feel like Logan O'Hoppy's the guy, right? I mean, is Danny Jansen going to be an upgrade for the Cubs? 223, 702 OPS, six home runs, 17 RBIs. 29 years old. Uh, Logan O'Hoppy for the Angels will go to Joe P. Here, Heston Kirkstad, nice. He got hit in the hit in the ear, the ear flap the other day, Orioles Yankees game, and cleared the benches. He was down for a little bit. was was slated to start the next game, but during pregame warmups, did not wasn't feeling a hundred percent, so they put him on the concussion IL. Hopefully, he'll be okay. But that's another yet another Orioles youngster that could that can rake. Speaking of. There's Adley Rushman to 25, two-color dual relic for Ryan Hines and the Orioles. Yeah, Jordan Westberg's down. Yeah, it's giving Kirk's out a little more playing time. That's the Orioles may have to do some do some work. They've got a lot of guys that that they're calling up, that they're graduating, and then are in the pipeline, right? That are on the cusp of graduating. They can't play everybody. To 199, there's Kettle Marte, Tara and the Diamondbacks. Then we got Oswald Peraza for the Yankees, TJ Poyer to 249. Yeah, if the Cubs want, yeah, if the Cubs want a uh, catching so bad, um, yeah, then maybe they should move Bellinger for Diego Cartaya. There's Walker Bueller trying to figure things out. Hopefully he does. We need him to. 44 out of 75. Michael has my Dodgers. Seventy-fives. Five fifty-fives. 
Law and order. Boom, do, 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 do. I do not, don't want to watch Orphan Black. Mm, we can watch the tail end of Armageddon. Don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. Because that's the song in the movie. Dodgers could use Cody Bellinger, actually. Um, that outfield is not settled in between left and center field with, with Outman and... Pagas and Vargas. There's Jordan Westberg, speaking of Westberg, to 125 for the O's. We'd love to have Bellinger commanding center field again. Teoscar and Jason Hayward in right, and then figure it out in left. Let's settle the outfield a little bit. Dang. I want to do the relics first. Here's Austin Hayes. He's more, all these Orioles. 55 out of 1. All these, all these players that are solid, they got to move someone. Thirty-three out of forty-nine. Blake Snell. Well, Belly's on the I. Is he going to be on the IL forever? Jesse and the Padres. And we've got Noah Shanuel, seventeen out of two forty-nine for Joe Pizzle and the Angels. And there's Vinny Pascantino, 46 out of 49, Kansas City Royals. Evan P with the Royals. Three boxes left. Fractured finger? Oh, that might be longer than 10 days. Hmm, maybe not then. There's Jason Dominguez, 33 out of 99 for the Yankees. Yankees fans waiting for him to come back. Here is tier one relic, Phil Necro, 30 out of 49 for the Astro Astros. Man, I'm losing my mind here. Braves, Pola. I just looked at A and thought Ash. I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I was watching Squid Games till like four in the morning. So, John Smoltz for the Braves to 125. I don't know why I started it so like late. But I've never seen it. Anyone else see Squid Games on the on the Netflix the, that Korean show? Um, I Capola with the Braves and right on the button, Reese Hoskins five out of five, four out of five. That's for the fighting Phils. Evan with the Phillies. Our uh, second train whistle of the break. That, 
That powder blue button pops nicely in that gold foil window. Phillies, Evan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, two more to go. Here's Dansby Swanson to 99. Here's Ricky Henderson, the Man of Steel, 37 out of 199, Oakland A's, Joe Andreessen. Here's a jersey and autograph, 55 out of 99, Trevor Hoffman. Brewers, Trevor Hoffman? It's going to go to Evan and the, I don't remember Brewers, Trevor Hoffman. Yeah, he spent two years at the end of his career with the Brewers. Did not realize. I thought he was... I know he started with the Marlins. But he was mostly, I, th I thought he just finished his career with the Padres. Huh. Hmm. All right, nice Trevor Hoffman, legend, Hall of Famer. All right, one more here. It is Nick Prado, 32 out of 49. Sweet spot percentage autograph for the, uh, for the Royals. That's going to be for Evan P. We got a hole to dig. <laughs> That's the line. That's the line. We got a hole to dig up here. I don't know what you people are doing down there, but you got a hole to dig up here. Armageddon, ladies and gentlemen, in the background. We got Zach Geloff. I think his brother is in the uh, Dodgers organization. We got Riley Green, Tigers, 25 out of 149. Tiger uppercut. It's going to go to Nick Stanley and the T Grays. We got Rocket Roger Clemens, 14 out of 25, Yankees edition. He's fired up. Look at him. Yankees, that's going to be TJ Poyer. And the last one here is going to be Walker Bueller, 93 out of 99. That is going to go to my Dodgers. That's going to go to Michael A. Hopefully Walker comes back soon, comes back strong. Because we need him. And there you go, my friends. That was 2024 Tier 1 Baseball, 12 box. Pick your team number seven. I'm Joe for Jaspi's Case. Oh, is this a Chase the Mantle? It is a Chase the Mantle break. All right, let's see who's going to chase the mantle. Let's go and gather everybody's names, one through 30. New dice, new list, one winner. One person will get an entry to chase the mantle. Let's roll it. Randomize it one and a six, seven times. Name on top after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. So after seven, good luck, everybody.
Who's going to be chasing the mantle? Ah, Matt Arnold, very close. Thanks, everybody. Matt and everybody, 2 through 30, thank you for trying. But only the name on top after 7 can get it, and that's going to be Benjamin Thomas, BT. Congrats to you. You're chasing the mantle. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.